Hi, Teacher Pete here with another English lesson from English Learning Space. This lesson is about phrasal verbs. What is a phrasal verb? Do you know? Can you name a phrasal verb in English? Well, a phrasal verb is a kind of verb, right? A phrasal verb is a verb plus preposition. A verb plus a preposition. Phrasal verb is two words. Verb, preposition. For example, pick up. I pick up the card. Or put down. I put down the card. Run on. Fill in. Set aside. Make up. Drop by. Sleep with. Very many phrasal verbs in English. Remember, when you use a phrasal verb, you take a verb plus preposition to take, make a new meaning. Verb, ha uh, verb has meaning. Preposition has meaning, but now put them together for a new meaning, different meaning. For example, let's look at this phrasal verb. Hang up. Right? Like, hang up the phone. Yeah? Hello? I can't talk now. I'm teaching a lesson. I'm going to hang up the phone hang up, right? You know hang up. It's stop the phone call. Turn off the phone. Hang up the phone. But does this, what is hang? Is hang always about a phone? No. Hang is this. I hang my shirt. I hang my shirt. Does up always mean phone? No. Up means up. Opposite of down, right? So, when I say hang up has a new meaning. New meaning. Stop the phone. Right? So, I can say I hang up the phone. I hang up the phone. Or, I hang the phone up. Both are correct. Okay, let's do an exercise. See if you can see what are the meanings of these phrasal verbs. Match the phrasal verb with the picture. Let's take a look. Okay, at the top, you see I have, there are nine phrasal verbs. Let me read them. Deal with. Deal with. Get rid of. Get rid of something. Hang out. Hang out. Keep up or keep up with, look at, look at, look at me. Next is pick up, pick up, ring back, ring back, take part or take part in. Finally, write down. Write down. Okay, ready to do this exercise with me? Look at these pictures, one through nine. Which phrasal verb matches the picture? Picture number one. Look at this picture. Which phrasal verb matches picture number one? 
What is she doing? Okay, number one, write down. Write down. Number two, picture number two. Which phrasal verb matches picture number two? She's saying, come on, we're late. Come on, we're late. Which phrasal verb matches picture number two? Number two is keep up with. Keep up or keep up with. Come on, keep up. Keep up with me. Picture number three. Which phrasal verb matches picture number three? Do you know? What is he doing? Picture number three is look at. Look at. He is looking at the stars. Number three, look at. He is looking at the stars. Picture number four. What, which phrasal verb matches picture number four? Many people are doing it. Phrasal verb for number four is take part or take part in. Take part. Take part in the meeting. Picture number five. What are they doing? Which phrasal verb matches picture number five? It's friends, informal, like a party. This is hang out. They are hanging out. Right? We have hang up or hang out. Hang out with your friends. Okay, picture number six. Which phrasal verb matches picture number six? Do you know? This one is ring back. Ring back. Ring back. This means call back, right? I can't talk now. I'm doing a lesson. I'll ring you back later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, next phrasal verb. Picture number seven. Picture number seven. Which phrasal verb matches picture number seven? This person is saying, I suppose I'll just have to cope. Which phrasal verb for picture number seven? This is deal with. Deal with. Deal with. She deals with work. I deal with my problems. Deal with. Okay, picture number eight. Picture number eight. Which phrasal verb matches picture number eight? The answer is get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of something. Get rid of the trash. Get rid of the junk. This means throw out, 
throw away. Get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. Get rid of it. Okay, last one. Let me move my big face. Last picture, number nine. The last one is always the easiest. Which phrasal verb matches picture number nine? She says, it pays to stay organized. That's for sure. Of course, the answer is pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. And this means organize or clean up. I need to pick up my bedroom. It's very messy. All right, everybody. Here are the answers, just to make sure you have all of the answers for this phrasal verb exercise. I'm posting them right here. Whoops, let me move my big face again. Here are the answers. My, you make sure you write them down and then look at them later. Don't get rid of them. And thank you so much, everybody. Here's the end of another English lesson. Remember, if you like this lesson, hit the like button. Hit the bells so you know there's a new lesson every time. We have many, many lessons coming for English for all people in the whole world. Thank you so much. This has been Teacher Pete with English Learning Space. See you next time. Bye-bye.